If you're into training and movement, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, guys. Like and comment because it really helps out the channel and it allows me to keep putting out these videos for you guys. Ladies, gentlemen, and my often forgotten, but not by me, rowers. Today, I am going to be taking you through some more handstand strength drills. We're going to expand on the last video that I did for handstand strength. So we are going to be looking at some slightly more difficult and more challenging movements and positions in order to get you to handstand with more confidence. So let's get right into it. Okay team, so an obvious important strength range in order to be able to handstand is your shoulder overhead range. Now it's not just overhead, there is a 90 degree range from overhead to right in front of you that you are going to need in order to be strong and feel secure in your handstand. Why is this? Well, because when you kick up to handstand, depending on your level of leg mobility, your arms can start in front of you here like this, and you need the strength to kick yourself up. So you need that range to be able to push yourself overhead. Another reason might be if you're doing the gymnastics entry, which is quite a, a forward lunge into the handstand, you're going to need the strength to block yourself and stop yourself from collapsing forward. So having this range, arms straight in front of you, all the way up to overhead, having strength inside of this range is going to be your best bet to feel secure in your handstand. So for this, I have an exercise that's gonna require you to elevate your feet. I've got my chair here, and I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do this one. You're going to place your feet up on the chair, or on your box, whichever, and you are going to Lift your hips up overhead and you're gonna mimic the overhead position of the handstand. Now from here, you can have a slight bend in the knees and you're simply going to lean your body forward, close the shoulders and then open them again. And you will simply repeat this for reps. And as you can see, I'm working my resistance strength at the bottom here and also my ability to bring myself overhead. This is going to be a key range for your handstand and actually not just your handstand, your ability to come in and out of many, many inverted positions. Good volume recommendation for this one is three sets of eight to 10 reps. Okay team, so one of the important handstand strength benchmarks that we must feel confident in is being able to step and walk with a lot of our body weight on top and over our hands. Why? Because if you start kicking up the handstand, you might need to walk your hands in case you feel insecure and need to change your position upside down. And also being able to walk will allow you to walk yourself up, up the wall with your chest facing the wall. And that position is super useful for learning how to balance later on. Of course, walking in your handstand will work your shoulders ability to protract and retract and your elevation and depression as well, your single arm strength, and all these factors are gonna compound in a higher level of strength, which is gonna benefit your handstand. So the exercise I have in store for you guys is going to require an elevation, and we're going to be walking backwards and forwards on our hands with our feet elevated. Here's what that's gonna look like. You're going to set yourself up with your feet up onto your elevated surface, Try to start with your arms overhead. Make sure that your shoulders are elevated. You are pushing your shoulders out. And what you're going to do is you are going to shift your weight to the side and take a step forward with your other arm. Shift your weight over to the front arm and repeat until you are in a plank position. And then you will reverse, making sure to push, step, shift the weight, push, step, and so on and so forth. And you are going to repeat this for reps. A good volume recommendation is to do six walks and repeat that for three sets. So you're gonna go up, you're gonna walk one, two, three, four, five, six, 
Get down, repeat three times. Make sure that you are strict with the form and make sure that your shoulders are pushed out the whole time and that you are remaining nice and strong during your steps. So make sure that you don't rush this. If some of the stuff you find here is too difficult, make sure that you watch the previous video. Okay team, that is all I have for you guys today. If you've been watching this video and you've been thinking that you quite like the look of these trainers, Vivo Barefoot guys, they've given me a discount code. So full disclosure, I am working with them and they've given me this discount code for me to share with you guys. Um, I'm working with them because I like their products and I use them myself. Uh, so get in there, check them out. The discount code is my name in caps and you'll get, I think it's 10% off of any purchase, any item that is not on sale. If you enjoyed the video, like and comment because it helps out the channel and it allows me to keep putting up these videos for you guys. That's really all I have for you guys today. I will see you in the next one.